takes approximately 375 years for a total eclipse to occur again in the exact same location. This means, of course, that humans will only see one of these events once during their lives. The annular and hybrid eclipse happens every two years. You can see them if you travel to different areas. According to space.com, because of the position of Earth, the moon, as well as the sun, it can happen on the phase of a new moon. Not all countries or national areas can view them often. You can probably catch sight of these locations, catch sight in the locations that are said to be seen. On Monday, August 21st, 2017, all of North America was able to see an eclipse of the sun. Anyone within the path of totality can see one of nature's most awe-inspiring sights, a total e solar eclipse. On August 21st, teachers couldn't legally let students see the eclipse directly because the light could damage your eyes due to UV rays. The glasses we had to use needed to be special for the eclipse to prevent damage to your eyes. We had to use glasses that had solar fil filters, so you can look directly at the eclipse. This event is when the moon passes through between the sun and the earth and blocks all or part of the sun for up to three hours from beginning to end. As viewed from a given location, the last time the contiguous U.S. saw a total eclipse was in 1979. According to the eclipse 2015nasa.gov, the last time the U U.S. saw a total e solar eclipse through such a large path was 1918, 99 years ago. Some of us only saw a partial eclipse. No doubt there will be another one soon. Maga Astor, a reporter, suggests that there will be one in two 2024. For those who wish to see it, please wait till then. I'm Miles, back to you.